Hey YouTubers, so we've got a little Fiat 500L and we're going to be doing the front brake pads. Easy job, follow along, see how we do it. So we've got the uh, bonnet open, or the hood, as our American friends call it. I'm just going to loosen off brake fluid reservoir cap. In fact, we shall put it there. Hopefully we won't lose it. Next thing I've got to do, get it up in the air, get the front wheels off. Good guess. So this is where we, we want to be. So that's the caliper, caliper carrier, and the brake pads live inside. So we're gonna undo these two. I mean, you can get away with undoing just a bottom one, swing it up, but I like to take them both out anyway. And what we're gonna say those are 13s or 14s? The 13s. Now what I do is I get a screwdriver in here and just give it a little pull and that will loosen up or push the piston back slightly. And if it doesn't go easily, then we think of another way. But I'm not on the disc, I'm on the outside of the outer pad. Just give it a little slide in. Now if you have a look at this, the, uh, the outer pad doesn't look too bad, but the inner looks pretty thin. So I've got stuck, don't have stuck sliders. There's a bit of a lip on this disc, but not horrendous. So for now, it'll be all right. But I think next brake pad change, it's gonna have a disc on it, or a pair of discs. So I do these individually, so I'll give it a, a clean and then a 
put a little bit of cider grease on it. And just to illustrate, <coughs> so <coughs> this is the bottom one and it has this on it, whereas the top one doesn't. Clean up the carapa, caliper. Uh, it's just trapped it because it had a bit better. We haven't got that pushed all the way home. We'll do that in a second. Just give the surfaces and the side a wipe over. I do have a wine bag tool, but I know that this will work quite nicely because that canop is nice and free. If it was a, if the piston was stiff at all, I wouldn't use this. And these are the pads I'm using, Bembo, my favorite, for what I can get out of here. Now for the observant ones, the inner pad had the, uh, the warning on it, the acoustic wear warning. So this one isn't going to go on because it's that side, so just take those when you take it apart, what goes where. Oh, well done, Rambo, oh, look at that. A bag of furniture, how good is that? So it's easy to get it. see how easy that one went in. Don't kind of watch what you're doing. You can be struggling. And the bottom one. Make sure there's no crap on that. Interestingly, the one with the red indicator on this side has got it with the opposite way. They're, they're a different manufacturer way for their own house. I'm going to have a look to see if there's wear in the plate on the pads on the other side. So I've popped off this side. And it has a wear indicator here. So this Roadhouse brakes has them on both the pads. The Brembo only has it on one. And because this is the driver's side and they were both sitting at the top. <laughs> Excuse me. Since this is the driver's side and both the wear indicator is sitting at the top, I shall put the one with the wear indicator on here so it sits at the top and it's on the driver's side. Pop that in there. So when we pump out the brakes, and just loosely put that in there. So when we pump out the brakes, it doesn't push the uh, piston out of that side. Oh, here's a little bit of copper grease. 
Don't really need to out here. We don't get much rain, but it's something that I've pretty much always done. It's a habit. And don't don't go mad with this stuff. Same with the inner one. Slide the pad in. And then I'll put some on the top of the caliper piston. Just surface where it makes contact and then just on the caliper where it makes contact. I know some people smother the, the pad in it or the out, outside of the pad but I think it's messy so I don't do it that way. That hasn't even got Loctite on it or similar. But it's probably two new bolts because the idea is they want you to talk it up and pull it all out, but I do like I'm doing it. Just use some medium. Don't go mad with that because you will be doing them again at some point, no doubt, or some unsuspecting person will. Get them talked up. And as I always say, check the spec for your own vehicle. Specs do change, so I, I don't bother saying what I'm doing on that because I'll check it out for the vehicle I'm working on. And it may not be the same as the vehicle you have. Right now we can get the wheel on this side, don't forget to remove the hook. Just give it a uh, This is a little screw on there, around the back, around the front. Excuse me. Get the holes lined up. Looks pretty good to me. It will take a millimetre or two. Too big. Bit of a 
stay there. Won't fall off now. So we can uh, snap that in the wheel bump, that bump. Like that again, shall we? We can snug up them wheel bolts. I mean, it's on the ground, I talk it up. But just snug it. Right, so I'm going to drop it down, pump up the, uh, the brake pedal, and then I'll do the other side and we'll come back and we'll drop it on the floor and pump up the brake pedal again. Right, so we snug up this wheel now. Sorry about the interruption. Now we can drop it down, pump the brake pedal, torque up the wheels. Covers on. Check your brake fluid level. Replace the cap. Hello. 
Oh, yeah. Two sets and we're done. Oh, that's good. Well done. Do a little video. Replacing your brake pads. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be partly famous. <laughs> And that's the job.